And after the funerals, we started the rebuilding process. And of course, the opinions were split. Rebuild the towers, don't rebuild the towers. Elected officials, community officials, and then citizens, they all had different ideas. And so we had to build a process to gain input. We had a national competition for what should be built. They've done a fantastic job. Wherever you were that day, it puts you right there. And um, I, think, I think anybody, especially Americans, need to go there. Mm -hmm. fountain uh, for the first time a couple of years ago alone and when I walked up I looked down and there were the mains of I think it was two guys that I work with I couldn't take it I laughed and... it's 20 years after the morning of September 11th but when you have a beautiful day like today with that gorgeous blue sky, um, your thoughts immediately flash back to the morning of September 11th. And it's tough coming down here. It's, um, you know, in, in my dreams or my nightmares, I still see the towers on fire. I could look up right now and almost still smell the smells and see the people jumping, although it's 20 years ago. And um, I don't think those those memories are ever going to completely disappear. They say that time heals all wounds, and yeah, it's um, it, it's not as prevalent as it was 20 years ago. But for any New Yorker who was here on September 11th. You know, even the sound of an airplane flying by when we're down at the Trade Center brings about a visceral reaction. It makes you almost want to duck and just make sure that everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 